Hey, welcome everybody. This is this journey called Life on Being There, Charlie. And I'm your girl, Hershey Thought. So, thank you so much for tuning in. We have a great topic we, we just want to share with you today. And to get your insight, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We are ready. We're going to dive right in. So, I'm going to introduce a topic. Um, so, Shana Bell, she's an Ohio mom. Basically, she went to work at Little Caesars and she left her kids in the hotel room and people were, it was two different sides. You know, there was a side of people who were attacking her, which I didn't really understand because she wasn't going to the club. She wasn't going out to party. She was trying to provide for her kids. And yes, she did leave them in a hotel. I remember when I was a single parent, one of the hardest things to do is be able to afford childcare. When you work at a job and you're barely able to afford anything. Most of the time when you're working these part-time jobs, you only are making enough to barely make it, to be honest, let alone take care of your kids. And even if you are getting some type of government assistance, it's never enough. And literally what happened to me was, as I was getting government assistance, the more I made, they began to take away. So it, it seemed like I was never really getting out of the hole that I was in. And I know for a fact that she, you know, probably was thinking, I'm doing the best I can with what I have. I mean, in my opinion, I also think that, you know, we, we've seen how her mother started a GoFundMe and she they raised over $150,000 for her to buy a house. That's what I that's what we're talking about. The community giving back. But what is your insight about it? Uh, so the story is that the, the kids was left into the, the hotel room. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, what the police was called or something like that. Mm -hmm. Somebody in the hotel room called the police because they heard the kids in there. And then the police came and the little girl answered the door and said her mom was at work. And then her mom was, they went to her mother's job. How old, how old was the kids? Do you remember? So, yes, the oldest was 10 and the little one was 2. 10 okay, and 2. Okay, 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 and she okay. said that she thought her 10-year-old was like old enough to watch her 2-year-old while she was at work. It was only for a couple hours. I believe it was like a four-hour shift. So, so what they what was it? They charged her for something? Yeah, she was arrested and charged with endangering the welfare of a minor. Mhm. Mm and not only was she arrested, um, she was arrested at her job. So imagine all that as well. You know, you're at your job, you get arrested at your job, and then you know you go to jail for endangering the welfare of a minor. You know what happens to her job at that point? I just when I look at these stories like this, man, it's it's hard to identify what is the right thing at that point because mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of times you be in positions where you left with no other options. You know what I mean? Especially if you're saying that she didn't have no family members or anybody else to take care of the responsibility, and if they're staying in that place, they didn't really have another home to go to. So you basically trying to wing everything and use everything that you have before you in, in your best way. You know what I'm saying? This is why a lot of times when we was growing up, your parents will always tell you, hold off on having these kids. Hold off on making these mm -hmm. bad decisions. Because like when I look back at all the things my mama told me, my, my dad, my stepdad, foster mama, stuff like that, I realized something. And what I realized is that you got to take value on it. That's the thing. Like when we teach your kids today, you're trying to prepare them for mm -hmm. the reality of this this life we live. It's not nothing easy. You got to go through ups and downs and all the roller coasters that come with okay. life. You know what I'm saying? So with all those trainings and stuff like that, with people guiding you, slow down. You don't want to keep doing this and that. Then you're having a relationship with different women or men, and they're not there to support you or help you with you mm -hmm. any tough binds and situations. Because a lot of times you got to think about all this Instagram and Facebook glamour stuff, all this stuff you're seeing all on love and hip hop. It's really you got to be in the trenches with relationships, with life, all of that. It, it comes with great responsibility and understanding. I will listen to something today, right? That was teaching me. So I, I learned something today. It's like something that people don't always teach people is emotional, learning how to control the emotions, learn how to mm -hmm. sit back. And just think. Play the game of thinking. That's what I be trying to teach my son all the time. Sit back and think. Mm -hmm. Because when you don't do that, you make mistakes that can cost you something. I heard one time on the radio, the man say, that one thing can't cost you everything. Yes, it can. That one bad decision. And something like this, it, it probably came from growing up, living in living in their homes and stuff like that. Parents probably said, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this. But you got to learn for yourself was bad or was good. And a lot of times it can be a hard fall for you. 
that's what I get from this, man. But like I say, it's like we making our own decisions out here. Nobody's making us do it. And just know that we're just reading the information. So another thing that I saw in one of the comments was, but her mom created the GoFundMe. So that that kind of that was a question that I was thinking like, oh, that's <laughs> interesting thought. Like her mom created the GoFundMe for them to give her money to get her on her feet. But then I wanted to know, you know, just asking, you know, why won't the kids at mom house? Like, was there a reason why she wasn't able to? support you while you're trying to work or you know these different things do happen and i do know that there are different circumstances that lead up to it but that's what he just said was so important we need to be trying to prepare ourselves for these type of things because we're having kids and we're starting to have kids at an earlier age and we're not prepared for what life has to offer us we're not prepared for the obstacles that we're going to be up against we're not prepared prepared just stop it sorry but that's important. We have to be prepared for these moments. We need to be, this is one of the things that I noticed as a teacher. These, a lot of these students are not prepared for life itself. I, I think they need to start teaching life skills again. Teaching these kids that you need to be prepared for things like this. Because yes, there is a generation of us where we had kids younger or babies having babies. And then all of a sudden we're finding ourselves in these predicaments where we don't really have the support that we need. And it used to be, it takes the village to raise a child. But now a lot of time the village don't want to help us, you know, raise a child or you know people are going through their own situation or maybe going through whatever cares this life has to offer especially with this last year we saw with covid and different things going on that people really had to re-evaluate you know how they were dealing with life or how they were focused on life but anyway back to her you know i don't feel like you know she should have left her baby in the room by her or even with a 10 year old i tell him all the time kids can't watch kids because anything can happen you know and i get it there was a moment like that happened to us where our daughter was with my mom and my mom thought a kid could watch a kid no that went it just it was it was a tragic situation and we ended up in a situation and honestly because kids think like kids you cannot expect a child to have you know the adult mindset or the capacity to make decisions and that is even though you know, we want to, even in the last minutes, we're backed up against the wall or we're in a bind. We have to consider these things. And I know hers is like, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. Now she's got 150000 to buy a house. Congratulations. We support that. But we also want to educate our generation on things that we can do so that th these things don't keep happening to us. You know what I'm saying? Because it's our people that don't want to help one another. And then next thing you know, if situations happening like this, and then, you know, people are in the comments like, but your mom could do the GoFundMe. That stands out and people are always trying to discredit us even when we may be backed up into a corner doing the best we know how with all we have, right? Yeah, like I say, uh, it's definitely a difficult thing. But like I say before, like a lot of times the lessons that it, it was taught before, but sometimes we ignore it mm -hmm. and then we have to go through those pains, you know what I mean, alone, you dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the struggles of just doing the wrong thing, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said before, man, I was somebody was just talking about this earlier, man. I think it was future. He was talking about like how the society is they already got you in what's the word I'm looking for? Uh stereotypes and uh what's the other word I'm looking for, man? Where they already conditioned a black person supposed to sell drugs or supposed to do this and that, all these negative things. Those are stereotypes. Mm -hmm. and, and and like like I said before, a lot of times it's just like trying to the, the have the mindset to go out think outside Break the those box. Cycles. You know what I mean? And not be the girl to get pregnant at an early age and drop out of school. It's the same cycle. They're expecting you to be doing all these things. Mm -hmm. Robbing, stealing, doing all these things. Not listening to your parents and being so rebellious that you fall. You know what I mean? Be a victim of these type of circumstances and stuff. Mm -hmm. And like I say, it's so hard for a person to actually identify hard work mm -hmm. and to get to that successful level. And like I say before, these mistakes and these things like that is a learning experience. Mm -hmm. But like I told you before, a lot of times your parents try to prepare you for the harsh reality that what happens with life mm -hmm. and this stuff like this like you got to think about it man it's a conversation now like i said before we can't control what other people do the father whatever the case sure. may be with that but like i said before we got to identify character too when we see them red flags we got to understand this is not the man i need to be with because he don't have a strong character to be able to carry this family 
But mm -hmm. that's my thoughts on that. So true. And we don't know all of the details, but we just thinking about everything, you know. Because we don't even know, you know, it could be a good relationship. It could have been a situation where, where you know, some, some of these people, I know, <laughs> I can think of somebody right now who will burn bridges. And you don't know how many times people have maybe even tried to help. We don't know the situation, but that's why it's important not to burn bridges. It's important not to, you know, um, think about the, the decisions that we're making. It, not to, wait, hold on, back that up. It's important to think about the decisions that we're making because we don't know how it's going to impact our lives in the future. And the last thing that we want to see is families divided. You know, families divided and kids not with their mom. You know, that that's a painful situation. I was in foster care for years, and I know that that could be it. Could impact it will impact impact your life in a way. Even though my foster family, I believe, saved my life. I still believe that whatever the circumstances are, I, I we support that. But we also think about, you know, aligning our lives in a way that we don't have to end up in these situations, if possible, you know, and then doing the best we can and taking heed to the things that our parents are telling us. Because, you know, a lot of times they will be telling us things over and over and over and we do not listen until something goes tragically wrong. I mean, we don't even know. You know, I'm creating a narrative. Maybe somebody told her, like, don't leave them there. They fine, you know. And next thing you know, they wasn't fine. We need to take heed, you know, to the warning signs, those red flags that he was talking about. But anyway, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in today. Thank y'all for coming on the show. You know, go ahead and leave us a comment. Let us know what you're thinking. You know, we just like to chat it up with you guys. Um, We, we appreciate your support. Don't forget to buy Free Me on Amazon. And if you want to All the links are in the description right now. We really appreciate y'all coming in and joining in with us, man. We're going to keep having dope and amazing conversation, man. I mean, we love y'all, man. Peace to everybody out there.